Hey guys, so, um, in case you couldn't tell, this is a look for St. Patrick's Day for the upcoming St. Patty's Day parties coming up this weekend, if you guys are going to any. If not, um, well, then it's a green smoky eye for you guys who aren't going out for St. Patty's Day. But if it is, then hey, it's St. Patrick's Day, okay? In case you couldn't tell, it's like my favorite, one of my favorite holidays ever, because they celebrate green, and I, well, it's not really what they celebrate, but it's all about green, so. And I love green. It's my favorite color. So, this is the look. Um, this is another St. Patty's Day kind of look. Um, or just, you know, if you want a smoky green look in general with some glitter. Because glitter kicks ass. Uh, but I did do it especially for St. Patty's Day. So, um, hope you all like it. And... I will see you guys later. Hey, I've already applied my base, um, or my primer, whatever you want to call it, which is uh, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Can be found at Ulta Stores, Forest Stores. Uh, Sephora.com, Alta.com, and UrbanDecay.com and select Macy's throughout the United States. The first step we are going to start with as soon as I find it. Black Track Fluid Line by MAC. We're going to be using this as a base. Um, this is a rather more dramatic look. Um, if you want to skip out on the Black Track, you can. It's not absolutely necessary. Uh, I feel like it just kind of helps the green to pop out a bit more and stand out a bit and also kind of at the same time gives the look a darker feel so um, it adds to the whole smoky effect for those of you who may be going out and want a smoky sort of thing on uh, this weekend for St. Patty's Day. So start with black track and I'm using my number has worn off brush, my 242. Um, it's basically just a flat brush. We're just going to take this and apply it all over the lid. If you have, if you have, um, if you don't have black track, or if it's too hard for you to work with on your lid, you can use Shark Skin Shade Stick by Mac, or I mean any sort of black cream thing. If you want this effect, or um, the darkness of this of the black track. And I'm going to take a 3 8 inch Maxine's Mott brush and I'm just going to use it to kind of soften out these edges so after you apply your eyeliner on you don't have any harsh lines or anything. I mean eyeshadow. You don't have any harsh lines um, showing up behind the eyeshadow. Like so, it's really messy but you'll be covering it up anyway so it's really alright if it's a bit messy. You just don't really want to have any harsh lines back there. Okay, now I'm going to take the very tip of my 242 brush and I'm going to apply a bit of black track to my lower lash line all the way across. And I'm going to clean it off a bit on my towel get any excess off and using the same brush just kind of do the same thing that we did with the top and just kind of soften out the harsh lines and smudge it out a bit. Right. Next, MAC Golden Olive Pigment. I take my pigments out of the full size jars and I actually put them in these little jars here uh, which actually fit in this whole thing here. So it makes it for easier carrying because I go back to Clarksville a lot and stuff. So rather than carrying a whole bunch of full-size pigment jars, I just carry half of my supply and put them all in these little things here and go on my way. So anyways, back on track. MAC Golden Olive Pigment. Maxine 3 8 inch mop. Get a bit on your brush and just apply it right into the inner corner the inner half of your eye and go ahead and smoke blend it out a bit 
your quarter inch Maxine's mop or your MAC 219 brush, your pencil brush, and apply it right into the inner corner of your lower lash line. And go about halfway. Okay, now we're going to take Humid by MAC, right there, 3 8 inch mop brush, and do the outer half, and go ahead and blend it with Golden Olive. And go ahead and soften out harsh lines. Like so. Voila. And do the same thing on your bottom lash line and then use your quarter inch Maxine's mop brush. Or you can use your 217 or 219, sorry. And then just blend it right where they meet in the middle and carry it in just a bit. And for the smokiness, we're going to use NARS Night Porter Eyeshadow. It's a black eyeshadow that has a green uh, glitter shimmer to it. When you on the camera, it looks pure green, but it's really not. It's actually black with a green, green glimmer. If you don't have Night Porter, don't worry about it. Use um, Matte Carbon. It the from what I noticed when I was doing this eye, the green glitter doesn't really show up that much, so it's not going to be a huge loss if you don't have this. But take your brush. What we're going to do is we're going to put it in the out the outer corner, and we're going to blend it in little by little. You can use whatever brush you're comfortable with. I'm using um, a MAC 217 brush. If you want, you can use a MAC 224, uh, your Maxine's Mop brush, or you can use the 275, since we're going to be working with the outer corner and the crease. That may be easier for some people to use. I'm just using the 217 because I like it. It's big and fluffy. And like I said, just start in the outer corner. If you're using any of the brushes that I said other than the 275, start in the outer corner and, and just kind of use a circular motion. And remember, always start with a little bit first and then build up because it's always easier to make it darker and it's harder to take it away and make it lighter once you've got it in, on there. You just might as well start over again. And you can take your 219 or your quarter inch brush and just apply it to the outer corner here. Like so. And then we have a smoky, smoky eye. Now I'm just going to um, line my eye. And I'm using Feline by MAC. You can use Smolder or any other sort of um, black eyeliner that you like. And I'm going to take my two, I mean my my quarter inch Maxine's mop brush. If you have um, the 219 you can use that and then just smudge out the line. And do the same thing with your bottom lash line. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply my false, my, uh, false eyelashes. If you want to see how I do that, you can check out my false eyelash video. So I have my falses on now. And so now the glitter part. The glitter part is the funnest part of all. Um, if you 
what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to line my eye with um, eyelash glue. I'm going to line my eye with eyelash glue using this handy dandy little contraption here. <laughs> um, and I'm using black eyelash glue. And where I'm lining it is I'm lining it right above where the falsies are. Where the, the line of the false eyelashes is. If you have glitter liner, just use glitter liner. That's like way more easier. Um, I I just find that when I use glitter liner though, I don't get very... To get as much glitter as I want on, I have to use a lot of... I have to keep reapplying and reapplying applying the glitter liner. So I just figured I'd do it this way. Okay, just like when you're applying false, uh, false eyelashes, let the glue sit for a little bit. So it gets good and tacky. And um, the glitters I'm using, they're glitters that I found at the craft store. They're, any glitters you wear are not recommended for eye use um, because they can fall off and get in your eye and scratch your cornea and potentially cause blindness. I, however, am a risk taker, so I don't care. Um, <laughs> but that being said, I do not in any way say that you should go out and do this and, you know, just use any sort of craft products on your eyes because you really shouldn't. Um, these are just non-toxic glitters that I bought though and I figured I, you know, as long as I know what I'm doing um, then I'd be okay. So make sure that you are always okay with what you're doing. This is like a crystallized kind of lime green color and this one is like an emerald sparkle green. The first one I'm going to use is the crystal, the lime colored one and I'm going to use this little small liner brush that I have. Um, don't use brushes when applying glitter because then you just get glitter in your brushes and it's a pain in the butt to wash out. If you can use something else and get away with it, then by all means go for it. I just, I couldn't find anything else to use in the meantime, so. Anyways, right where you applied the glue, just stick the glitter right on top of it. and try to be very wary about getting it in your eye. The next glitter I'm using is that emerald glitter that I showed you guys. There we go. There's our glittery look. Okay, once you've got your glitter on, and I mean that step's completely optional. You don't have to if you don't want to. If you just like the smoky look, just wear the smoky look. Screw the glitter. Me, I have a glittery personality, so I like glitter. Um, but once you've got your falsies on, just apply your um, mascara and the rest of your makeup and you're good to go. I forgot a highlight. For highlight, we're gonna use White Frost and I'm just gonna apply it with my Face Secrets brush that I pretty much always use. And just lightly apply it to your brow bone and blend. There we go. Then finish up the rest of your makeup. Uh, apply your mascara, foundation, concealer, anything else that you need to do if you hadn't done it already before you started your eye makeup. And that's it. You're off to go. You're ready to party hardy and drink green beer and all that other, some little green men and all that other good stuff. So whatever you guys do for St. Patty's Day, please be safe. Please be careful. Um, don't be stupid. If you're going to be stupid, then just make sure it stays in the bar and you don't drive yourself home. So, um, I will see you guys later and thanks for watching. Bye. Um, if you're wondering about this, what I did was I have this little over cutout that I got a while ago last year. Or I got it last year, um, but I did nothing, absolutely nothing with it. So I thought I could use it this year for makeup stuff or whatever. And what I did was I took Landscape Green Chromaline. I put it on the back of it, stuck the thing on my face so then it, I'd at least have, you know, an outline of it, filled it in with chromaline again, put some humid eyeshadow on top of it, and then took some toner mixed with a bit of mixing medium and glitter and stuck some glitter on it. And that was really all I did for that, if you were wondering. So no, I did not draw it freehand. I cannot draw a four-leaf clover 
I could not draw a clover period and dot to save my life. It always comes out looking retarded and really like I'd already been drinking and celebrating St. Patty's Day already. So anyways, um, hope you guys like the look and I will check you guys out later. Bye.